Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, day 587. Let's get going. I feel like my hair looks really weird. Come on. Let's do this. Interesting first round. Oh, hello. From just this first view, I don't think I ever would have guessed Israel. Glad we're allowed to look around. Um, big city-ish in Israel. I'm saying Israel because of all the Arabic writing. Well, I'm saying Israel because of all the Israeli flags. Let's change it to that. Oh, Tel Aviv. Okay, we're near Tel Aviv. Um, we're here. Okay. Tel Aviv. And apparently, if we went straight forward, we'd end up in a place called Hanoff. Is Hanoff a noticeable place on the map. Just checking everything's working, it is good. Hanoff. Hmm. I'm sort of assuming I'm near the water, but that's not necessarily true. We're near road one too. There's road one. Somewhere along here. We turn this corner to get to road one. Yeah, it's not that helpful. What's this massive building? Just looks like a generic shopping center. Not something that'll show up on the map. I'm looking for things that might show up on the map to help us narrow it down, but not too much as far as I can see. No. Okay, I'm going to go put myself right there. Oh, we're much further away. We're in Jerusalem. And it was saying you could get to Tel Aviv that way. I suppose maybe there wouldn't be a sign in Tel Aviv saying this is the way to Tel Aviv. But at the same time, they sometimes do that because it's like this is to the center. But I maybe should have, like, clicked and gone somewhere else. Oh, black backs of signs. With yellow lines. The white car looks like. Peru or Brazil? What does this truck say? Brazil. Br. Sweet. I am going to click there. I don't see. We could travel this road for ages to the south and not find anything. So let's go north. It is a relatively straight road as well, north. Something does happen up there, but okay, let's just zoom down there. See what I've missed to the north. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Saw wrist. Uh, is this the same truck? No, it's a different truck. All that is to the north is a slight curve. And then more road. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go up here because a lot of Brazil's up here. A lot of population density. Yeah, see, I should have even gone even further into the little peninsula. Okay, uh, definitely European. Potentially Nordic? Yeah, probably Nordic. We have that little AE thing. Which is... Certain Nordic countries that I should remember. Wait, it had the AE thing and the A circle thing. I think that's Denmark then. Look, there's the AE. We have A with a circle anywhere in Denmark? Maybe not. Norway? With a circle. How can we have both? I thought they're exclusive. Um. Okay, keep looking around. It's cold, obviously. People on bikes. Could it be Finland, maybe? What did this sign say? Does that sign have double vowels in the name? Double V's, not double vowels. Vowel starts with a V, but it's not double vowels. The flag. 
It is a flag, but it's a flag for a shopping center. Okay. Can I go into this car park? I can. Hello. Could be helpful. Center. Is that like a, yeah, tips a lot of it's a gambling place. There's a school group back there. Red Cross sort of donations. Let's just go have a quick look in Sweden. It's not Sweden. It's not Finland. It's Norway or Denmark. My instincts say Denmark. I don't know why they do, that's just what they say. I should always listen to my instincts. Yellow number plated trucks probably a good sign. Red road signs like that are normally Finland, but I think that one was like a quite nice one, so maybe not. Okay. Let's choose a little small area there. Oh, that was incredibly close. Nice, it was Denmark. Bienvenidos. Oh god, okay. South America. That is a very unique looking bollard. I guarantee that bollard's a big clue if I knew what it meant. Sort of a wooden... No, it's actually metal, don't I? Looks like a wooden pole, it's metal. There's a phone up ahead, bus stop up ahead, no, nah, okay, let's check the car colour, ooh, that sign's yellow on the back, it's black, I think this is Uruguay, oh, but this is kind of rural for Uruguay, northern Argentina, damn it, should have trusted my instincts, it was Uruguay. I said like one round earlier, trust your instincts. And then I didn't. I let them slide. My instincts are hiding under the desk now. They're afraid to come out because I won't listen to them. Poor instincts. Hoop supermarket. So this is... European. Oh. A flag. I believe that is a Slovenian flag, and I'm going hard on instincts because I, yeah, I feel like if I try to double th everything, this it'll change my mind. Or was it? Ah, oh, it's a Slovakian flag, damn it. Oh, 20,000 is not a bad score. I will, I promise, I've not been saying this for ages, but I will be back soon playing GeoGuessr and learning the game properly again. I'll be back, hopefully to get better. I'm going away this weekend, and then I'm free. I have no work, and I technically have no friends. They're all leaving to go different places. So, stream will become my friend. We will have things to do. But I'm pretty happy with 20,000 as a score. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Good job to Gesta for two 5,000s, actually. I started my outro without anything. Without checking. Hey, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.